Unconsciously, people always connect with what they're wearing. It gives them the feeling to belong to each other. Uh, usually, they do that with buying a brand uh, and choosing for a brand which, for example, a football player or uh, uh, an actress wears. Uh, and they want to belong to this group of cool people. I think it's really great if you more consciously can connect with clothes and you make more conscious uh, choices in there. I think this project shows uh, very nicely how easy it is uh, to share clothes uh, and to make clothes which can be shared. This, for example, is a garment uh, which you could adapt to how you want it. You can wear it as a coat, you can wear it open, you can wear it closed and with a belt as a dress. It would be for many seasons and um, you could share it, so, so that's, a, that's a great thing to do. You know, I think there is a lot of potential in, in what you're doing, thinking about uh, clothes transforming with the body, rather than how we've kind of been taught to think that we have to transform the body via clothing. It's actually something that changes with bodies. It, you, you're an artist, you know, trying to work through questions and questions not always of gender, but questions of intimacy and love and possibly sex as well. You, you know, you're thinking through those ideas through clothing. I was really inspired by guerrilla activities in my surrounding in Poland so that's why I tried to figure out somehow how can I uh, use the same techniques as, as they use uh, how can I create shoes I think that handcrafting of everyday objects has a really big value because we can somehow and create our own envir environment, we can create our, our own things uh, just without buying stuff, uh, we can just do something by our hands and be happy at the end. <laughs> These shoes are made from leftovers uh, from modern cu culture, like the sole is made from the flip-flops and the upper side is sewn by me from some uh, pieces of, of material. They are really comfortable. So I was really investigating a high street, a particular high street in North London that no one's really ever heard of, even though it's the second busiest shopping street after Oxford Street, you know, the main shopping street in London. I mean, it's an extraordinarily diverse area in Wood Green and Haringey in the borough, in which Wood Green is, is one of the most diverse boroughs in the country and one of the poorest. But as an artist, I kind of want to point at it and kind of frame it and say, you know, this, is, this, this exists. And um, Wood Green is full of these shops that pop up, but they're not hip, these cheap dump shops, as, as you might think of them, that sell cheap fashion that can't be sold elsewhere. And nobody really has heard of the shop names or the names that are sewn into the clothes. What this is about is how nice it is to uh, connect to people uh, with wearing the same thing. If my husband would wear this and I, we could share it, but it would also smell from my perfume when he is wearing it. And um, that creates a kind of um, belonging together the biggest value in the Boradax project is uh, just the sense of security because if you share um, things uh, close with someone uh, you love, for example, uh, you feel safe. I 
think there's something interesting about not knowing about brands. The brand kind of gives us images and stories that a marketer has decided you need to think about when you're in that store or when you're buying that product. And we lose a kind of connection to the product. So I think there's something quite refreshing and perhaps a return to a return between a person and the object, an actual real connection between the person and the object. We, as young designers, we are trying to somehow reconsider the um, existing system of fashion production and distribution because maybe we just do not feel good in, in, in existing system. So we try to construct the new world of fashion. People connect to what they are wearing in very different ways. And it is nice to explore how a certain fabric uh, or a certain color or a certain form really is something uh, you like to wear. And when you really uh, do that, you find out that there are certain um, dresses, certain trousers, certain uh, forms of clothes which are really great for you and which you connect with and which express who you are. And that is not necessarily something uh, with a brand on it or what a celebrity wears. Sometimes it's just what's good for you and I think it would be nice if clothes would take this value